assault is a serious crime that can have long-lasting consequences for both the victim and the perpetrator. In Texas, assault is defined as the intentional knowledge or even reckless action that can cause bodily harm to someone. Hi, my name is Peter Sidesot and I'm one of the attorneys here at the Law Office of Brian Fagan. This video will discuss different types of assault, their consequences, and the options to defend yourself against an assault charge. Let's begin with the basics. There are two main types of assault, simple and aggravated. Simple assault doesn't involve a weapon, it can be getting in someone's space knowing you're provoking them. Using light physical force, such as simply pushing someone away, is also considered simple assault. For simple assault, a class A misdemeanor will be started against you. On the other hand, aggravated assault involves causing serious bodily injury to another person or using a deadly weapon to cause bodily injury. A commonly experienced type of simple assault is verbal assault. A verbal assault is when you are verbally threatened, meaning you fear for your life, safety, or well-being. Verbal assault can happen in your day-to-day -day life. Some examples of verbal assault including threats, name-calling, yelling, or gaslighting. Verbal assault can lead to feelings of isolation and depression. The criminal procedure for assault can vary depending on the circumstances of the case. The criminal justice court carries out several steps when prosecuting assault charges. The process usually begins with investigating the incident, then charging the incident and court hearings. A defendant is considered innocent until proven guilty. Depending on the type of assault, you can be arrested on the spot, incarcerated, or forced to go wait to court for an arraignment or a hearing. The most important step in an assault charge is the court hearing. The judge considers the circumstances of the case, hears arguments from both sides, and gives a ruling. He or she would advise you on posting bail, serving jail time, or completing community service depending on the severity of the charges. When bail is denied, the accused can either post a bond or spend time in jail awaiting the trial. During this period, it is recommended to hire a criminal defense lawyer. However, a court-appointed prosecutor will be at your disposal if you decide not to hire an attorney. Your defense attorney will file all the paperwork for you and appear in court on the appointed date and time. Keep in mind that court hearings could get brutal and tiresome. At the hearings, your defense attorney will present evidence to prove you innocent before the judge. On the other hand, the plaintiff's attorney or injured party, also known as the plaintiff, will try to bring all the evidence they have against you to make you look guilty. If you're found guilty of a Class A misdemeanor, you could be sentenced to one year in jail, a fine of $4,000, or both jail time and a fine. So what are the legal defenses for assault? The most common defense is self-defense. Self-defense is a legal justification for using force to defend yourself. If you can prove you were in danger of being harmed and there is no way to escape the altercation without the use of force, you may be able to avoid conviction. Defense of others and defense of property are two more ways to defend yourself on an assault charge. They are legal justifications for using force to protect others or property from harm. An example of defense of property would be using a bat to fight off a home intruder in the middle of the night. Additionally, if the victim has consented to the physical contact that led to the assault, you may be able to argue that you did not commit a crime. This could be a great defense if there were verbal or written agreements to the level of assault that was made before the assault happened. Assault is a very serious crime under Texas law. If you are charged with assault, it is advisable to seek the assistance of an experienced criminal defense attorney who can help you navigate through the legal system and protect your rights. At the Law Office of Brian Fagan, there are multiple attorneys with extensive knowledge and experience in criminal law who can help you navigate the court system. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Texas criminal law and call our office today at 281-810-9760 to schedule your free consultation.